what has changed about your mindset and also what's changed about the company from incorporating in 2015 to really really growing like a really good question right so the idea i came back with flow is radically different from what the company is right so i almost went through a two or three exploration phase of actually going through and understanding my market and then understanding what was going to work and not going to work um and actually, as part, as part of that, um, I kind of realized that actually, look, fundamentally, what I'm building with Flow is a technology business, right? Yeah. Our, 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 our technology, you know, our technology team is larger than, you know, it is a large technology team, right? We will yeah. likely have 20 plus people just solely working on technology in our company um, end of this year. And um, I realized that actually, to actually pull off the vision of what we wanted to do, it actually requires a lot of upfront capital. So yes. you need investment, right? Mm -hmm. um, um, but generally people won't give you investment if you don't have a product, you know, or, or traction or anything. So it's chicken and egg. Yeah. Um, so I ended up, uh, you know, uh, at the early stages, it was borrowing money and getting investment from you know, friends and family type people, very, very early stage angel investors. Um, and actually, we invested a, a lot of time. And actually, a, a big sea change for me was I also realized that actually to pull off what I wanted to do, um, I needed a really, really exceptional team. Yep. So again, it's chicken and egg. And I sympathize to anybody going through this at this moment in time. Is sometimes if you want to go and build a technology company, you need to go and hire the best people. But if you have no money to hire the best people, how do you do that unless you're a coder or an engineer yourself? So it's that whole chicken and egg situation. But I mean, generally all companies and businesses are different, right? So your capital requirements for a company or a business will be based on what you do, what kind of business you're looking to build, um, and what your market opportunity is to go and do that.